Okay, so here we're looking at the Tinder system. Now, this was for a specific client that actually had quite a few problems that we tried to solve. The first one was that they're trying to get uh, rid of paper. So they're trying to go as much paperless as possible. So the idea is what happened previously is these Tinder documents would be printed within meetings and everyone would make notes on these papers. And then these papers would be scanned in afterwards. So there was a lot of paper and printing happening throughout the process. So the first problem was trying to go paperless. The second problem they also had was collaboration because they would have five or six people working on the document and then they'll send out these documents to these five people and then the project manager would then have to try and put all these documents into one final tender document. So the collaboration wasn't as fluent as it could be. And one of the big problems that also came in with this collaboration was using the correct template. So they might have different templates for an engineering tender compared to a servicing tender or compared to a works tender. And all these templates would not have a single correct version. So if you have got five collaborators, this person would take a tender from a previous, um, would take the template from a previous document that they had, where the project manager would use the latest tender template. And the third person would actually just copy from a previous tender as well. And then once they put everything together, they realize that they're not using the latest tender template. So that was the third issue that we tried to solve. And then this is, has got quite a rigorous process in the back end, business process that it needs to follow. So the project manager needs to set up the tender, then they need to um, collaborate on that tender. It needs to be approved by the head of department. Once it's approved by the head of department, the secretariat needs to approve it. Then it needs to go back to the head of department to get a signature, and then it needs to go back to the secretariat, and then only then can it be added to the tender committee meeting. So as you guys can see, is it's a big process, and there's a lot of ways where it can slow down the process, process if someone is not approving it at the right time. So all these things we try to uh, solve. We're trying to go paperless, uh, assisting with the collaboration, uh, making sure they're using the correct template, and automating the business process in the back end. So the first thing I'm going to show you is just by able uh, to create a new tender. So let's click on create a new tender. And here we can specify the information for the tender. So I'll say this is a demo tender, open or selective. So depending if it's going out to the public or if it's specific people that this tender needs to go, uh, go out to, who the budget holder is, the collaborators for the specific tender, and here is the type of tender. So if I specify that it's a services template, a services tender, it will then ask me, is it a one envelope or a two envelope service tender? If I say consulting, is it engineering or other? And depending on which type of tender I select, the type of template will then be used or generated in the back end. So this is thus assisting them, making sure everyone is using the correct tender template. So once a temp, uh, tender has been generated, they can then start working on that specific tender. Now, the IDT actually stands for Information to Tender, and this is just basically the main tender document. And you'll be able to see here that if I click on Edit Document, it might take a while, it actually opens up this specific tender Word document. And the nice thing about Word Online is, is everyone can start working on the same document at the same time. So we've actually seen where 10 people are trying to collaborate on the same document at the same time. It does look like a bit of a Christmas tree, but it is possible. And the idea behind it, obviously, is not so that 10 people work on the same line in a specific document. But no, you can start separating uh, what person has to do what. So, for example, if a specific person needs to work on the introduction, they can work on the introduction while the second person is working on the background. Then the third person can work on the finance uh, aspect of the tender, etc. And all this can happen at the same time. The nice thing as well is all these uh, collaborators are working on the same template at the same time. So once they have completed this tender document and the project manager is happy with this document, he or she can then send this tender document, this ITT document, for approval. And once the head of department then approves it, 
then the partner can then send it back and it will then be saying pending secretariat. So as you guys can see, it focuses on making sure that people don't need to print anything, that the collaboration can happen online at the same time, that the correct template is being used, and that the business process is being automated throughout the entire thing. And you'll also notice that we're not part of the evaluation step yet or the P a PTA document, which is permission to award document, because we're still sitting with the PTT document. So it just means that people can't skip steps within the business process unless they complete the previous steps within the process. And then once all this is done, once the ITT document has been approved, once the secretariat has approved the ITT and the PTT document, it can then be added as an agenda item within the tender committee meeting. And this is how they can then talk about that specific tender.